Hi all and welcome to my toy vid from the NEC Toy Fair Birmingham. We'll go through a little walk around of the show and at the end we will check out what bits I managed to pick up. So this is my stall here, Empire Toys 1138. What I've done here is I've unleashed Vic here on the NEC and see what footage she brought back. So what I've done is you can see I'm normally at stalls. I stall next to Andy's Toys and Models, which was here. Vic was very sorry that she didn't get more of Andy's stall here, but as you can see, it's got a great selection of toy biz there at the side. But he was a bit busy for her to hang around too much. So I sped up a lot of the walking round, missing out a few of the sort of car dealers, toy trains, that sort of things. It's not really my scene. Cool collection of uh, box stuff on this stall. Really digging that uh, Simpson Smithers figure there. Did see it in the day, decided not to buy it. The stall here of all the action figures, I cannot believe I missed it. Just did not see it. Gutted. Here we have Rob Stall from Tatson Toys. Great selection there of mask figures, Transformers, some Doctor Who on the top there. As you can see, you've got some good box Transformers stuff there from the films and from the newer cartoons. Cool little slave one sitting on top of that BB 8. That is Rob's stall there from Robo Toys. Um, it was very busy at the time, so Vic didn't get real much of a chance to stand around and film, but we do come back to it later, don't worry. Batman stuff at the back there. Carly Final Fantasy. Um, more trucks and trains. It's a nice selection here of Marvel Legends and a wicked Wolverine bus there, Iron Man, Superman, uh, the Hunter bad guy from Spider-Man that I can't think of the name of.
Cool teddy bears, Winnie the Pooh, Paddington. Some real decent Lego on this stall, lots of minifigures, lots of old sets. Lots of uh, Star Wars Lego in this bit here. Cool, uh, was it Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter there? And the uh, TIE Fighter from Rogue One. Vintage Star Wars in this stall, the Cloud Car, 8080 Slave One. Bring a. Uh, you might want to remortgage your house before uh, buying some vintage Star Wars now. There was some seriously expensive gear there. Cool, but expensive. This stall was a bit more Comic Con y, what you expect to see at Comic Cons. Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon there. There's, there was some Harry Potter on this stall as well. And a cool Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things Pop. Negan Walking Dead. You see a little Groot sitting up there as well. A load of Marvel figures and pops on this stall. Cool Hulk, Venom figures there. Thanos. That Chimichunga Deadpool pop is awesome. I'm a bit gutted that I didn't get as much of a chance to run around as I could have. But I'm definitely thinking the NEC on the 27th of December. I think I'm going to go hunting and not stall. Glad I didn't get to check this stall out with a tie fire on it. Like there's some Destiny stuff there, it would have been interesting to check prices. A few more box stuff. Marvel, 
Captain America shield there. DC. The thing, Hulk. Getting this stall as well. Lots of loose figures. The Batmobile. Good to have had a look at. Lots and lots of Star Wars in this stall. Again, like I said, all these sort of vintage Star Wars was expensive. Although it does look like that Black Series Taunton is awesome. So is the vintage Star Wars, to be fair. Decent graded figures there, all vintage. Lots and lots of more figures and more vintage again, boxed, graded. So cool. Dang up our set's nice. It's a cool store here with some poly pockets. Don't really see much of that. It was cool to see it. Not really my thing. Also Super Nintendo there. Boxed Ghostbusters, little Street Shark at the back there. More vintage Star Wars and some G1 Transformers. And the Ghostbusters Firehouse or Fire Station. This still was cool, had the uh, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves Sherwood Forest, made from the Ewok Village. These guys had some cool stuff, even though it's not my thing. Some cool horror, Master of the Universe bits. Apparently a lot of this stuff was exclusive, so only they sell it, which is pretty cool. Again, not really my thing, but they do look good. That Street Fighter stuff does look good, and the muscles, they're cool. A lot of nice box stuff on this stall. Cool Predator figure there. Star Wars. Some selects. Captain America, that's pretty cool. Fun masked walkie talkies. Kenner aliens. Toy biz. Man. So this is Rob, Rob from Rob I Toys. This is his stall. Told you we'll come back to it. I've actually got a set of those uh, Power Ranger Legos. That he's got there. 
cool set. Nice street shark and all. Again, Rob's got vintage Star Wars mask. A public gunship is awesome as well. Box biker mice and all. And loads of rummage boxes that we love. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around Vic did of the NEC Toy Fair. And these were a few bits that I managed to pick up. So, a little shout out to Sam from Bugsy's Toy Box. Who hooked me up with this wicked White Ranger. This is going to go on the shelf. Um, he's managed to give me uh, the flip head White Ranger sword, which is decent. And uh, yeah, that's just going to go on the Power Ranger shelf. Along with this, Vic got me this from Fistful of Collectibles. Did a little trade, which was decent. Uh, King Sphinx from the season one of Power Rangers. Probably one of my favourite bad guys. Um, so yeah, it was cool to have him. He's going to go again, another Ranger, well, Power Ranger bad guy to go on the shelf. Vic also. Vic from Fistful of Collectibles also gave me this wicked little Power Ranger goodie bag for my Zords. So he's given me two Pterodactyl Zords. One unfortunately is missing a wing, but it's good to have a spare. Second is complete, if I can get the head out. A Titanic gun. And this little good bag, if it opens up. Hey, finally, a nice little goodie bag of bits and bobs. So there is a Green Ranger shield, a spare back for another Green Ranger, the guns from the blue Triceratops sword. White Ranger, sort of the bigger figures, it's his sword. The side part of the Tyrannosaurus Dino Thunder bike, it's missing its missile. Again, another good spare to have. Not too sure where that's from. Don't know if that is a Power Ranger. It looks like it is broken, so I might just go, need to go in the bin. The shield from the firing, the, the hand firing, fist firing, mega. Megazord, the little sort of tiny one, and the chest piece from Titanus, which is good because I think I've got one in there that needs a few of these bits, which is handy. So big thank you, Vic. Cheers for that, mate. And again, Sam, cheers for the White Ranger for the shelf. Now, what I did manage to pick up, which I am stoked about, uh, was a Holy Grail item for myself. Now I have this figure open which I've got in a big job lot of figures. Uh, and I have the Black Series um, version. Now, I'm a massive, massive fan of Knights of the Old Republic. It was a game that I played on the Xbox, and I still play, I still get it and play it now and have a run through it. I'm dying for them to remake it, remaster it. So hopefully one day they do. But I've been reluctant to pay the eBay and the Comic Con and the Star Wars Celebration prices for this dude because they've been crazy, ridiculous and I even know that the price I paid for this I've seen the loose figure for him go for as well So, and I've seen him sell on eBay for over 100 I think a £120 auction bid was the most I've ever seen it go for so this guy which is Darth Revan on the 30th anniversary card now I was walking around the NEC, I actually went and paid for my stall and I um, saw a gentleman selling loads of these unfortunately I didn't have my glasses so I could not see great card, great box, and it obviously comes in this protective case which is handy so he was, he had loads of 30th anniversaries and I was looking over, looking over and he said to me mate, anything in particular you're looking for? and I was like, give it a go, don't suppose you have Darth Revan and he went, oh what, this guy? I went, yes, that guy. And I was expecting, oh, it's going to be big. It's going to be pricey. And he goes, well, I wanted 65 for it. I was like, all right. 
I'll take it for 65. But he says, as you ask for it, I'll do it for you for 60. So I was like, touch, I'll have that. So yeah, holy grail item, chalked off without even looking for it. So I've got him opened, like I said at the start, and I've got him in the Black Series. I've also got a his apprentice, um, Darth Malak, um, in the 30th anniversary box and opened as well. So very, very happy now that I've managed to complete the set. Um, don't think there's anything else from that they did from the Knights of the Old Republic. It was just the two Sith Lords. So yeah, very, very pleased for picking that up. Anyway, well, guys, thanks for checking out my NEC video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we will get some more hunting videos out very soon. Uh, car boot season is limited. I don't know if I'll be out hunting any time. It's weather permitting now, really. So hopefully we can get some more actual toy hunting videos out from shops, from toy fairs. Um, I'll be going to MTM Comic Con on Sunday, so hopefully going to get a toy hunt video from there. Um, on the 13th and 14th of October, I will be stalling at Reading Comic Con. So guys, if you're in the Reading area, uh, please come down. It's a, it's a great little Comic Con, great day. Uh, it's a two-day event, um, either Saturday, Sunday, they are great days. Lots of people there to get stuff signed by and photos. And come check out my stall. Um, Andy from Andy's Toys and Models will be there. So come and check our stalls out. Come and say hi. Toy. Toy. Talk toys, and uh, hopefully see you there. All right, guys, until next time, see you later. Thank you, and bye.